for another aquarium update. Let's go. Hi, I'm Aaron Jones and welcome to another vlog coming to you from Mihama in Japan. And today I wanted to give you an update on my aquarium. It's been a while and some very dramatic things have happened since the last time I did the update. To check out the last update, uh, check out the card up below. You can see the little eye there. You can check that out to see the video before. Now, what happened a few weeks ago was my whole system crashed and I don't know why. I do my regular water changes every week and about what happened is I did within a few days everything in the aquarium suddenly died all the fish some of the fish I had for many years passed away and it was kind of saddening and all the plants died everything just turned brown in the period of about three or four days so I don't know what happened there and uh, anyways I was a little bit upset but what I did is I took all everything out and I have re completely redone my aquarium and in a different way, different kind of soil and uh, things are looking good so far. It's only been about uh, a few weeks since I've rebuilt it or re redone everything. You can see some of the fish in the background. I just started adding fish a few days ago and uh, so let's have a cl closer look at the update on my aquarium. Let's go! One of the first things I updated on updating my aquarium is I got new light bulbs from the system and here is what I bought. This is them. These are uh, from, it's hard to get in the video, they are from ADA. They are Amano Aqua Design Amano. Now I live in Japan so it's very easy to get a hold of uh, ADA stuff and uh, not so expensive here in Japan as it is overseas that what I hear is very expensive but uh, I got two of these these are meant for planted aquariums because that's what ADA does a lot of planted aquariums if you know about them you know uh, all the great aquariums they've done and that's what you see here and so far they're working out very well well you can see I've completely updated my aquarium from the other video and I've gone with a different substrate a soil type substrate made for plants and I've got different plants in there and I can't remember all the names of all the plants. However, some of the plants are, as, as I mentioned with the lights, they are uh, ADA plants that I bought. And they're not so expensive here and they're very good. And I found another great uh, aquarium shop in Matsuyama, a little bit far from where I live here in Niyama. And they had a good deal on some plants. It's two for 500 yen, so about five bucks for two, two plants. And uh, I put those in there and I got a nice rock. And uh, now inside the fish that I got in there, I've got some green neon tetras. I got five of those and I got five rummy nose tetras at the moment. And after a few more weeks, I'm going to add a little bit more fish in there. I'm going to keep it uh, to simple fish like this. Other times I had other fish in there. I had rainbow and I had mini puffer, but uh, I don't want to spend too much money after until this really, I really understand that this has gone stable because after the last crash, it was really heartbreaking. But uh, so far, so good. It's been two weeks and I've been managing this with a new application on my iPad and I'll do a video on that perhaps one day. It has a few bugs, but uh, I use a different program on my Macintosh, but I tried a different one on my iPad now to see how that works, keeping track of all the perimeters and stuff like that. I got my, my little test kits, which I don't know where I just put it. I tested it this morning. They, they come out like this. I did a water change today. Uh, here's my test kit. You can see this one is a Tetra test kit for testing the water perimeters. I do that every week before I do a water change. And uh, that's about it. And I've got CO2 running in the background. And now everything is hidden. And it's getting to the cold season. So I'm going to have to put a heater in there in about a few more weeks once the temperature starts dropping. But uh, anyways, uh, I, I had a side canister filter that was there. It's now gone and I'm just using the top filter and I increased the amount of media inside there. And uh, so that is the aquarium update for today. Well, that was the latest update on my aquarium. So hopefully things go smoothly from now on. No problems, no more big crashes. The other system, it was about uh, three years running and it was transferred from another aquarium when I moved. And uh, but now from start from fresh. So hopefully no more problems. Anyways, that's all for today, so let me know what you think about my aquarium. 
tell me some hints that helped you recover from an aquarium crash put them down in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to keep up updated on other vlogs on not just my aquarium but other things related to technology and geekery and all that kind of stuff until next time see you then goodbye